Good day everyone, you yeah, are welcome to our channel once again. Today is um, 8th of February and our fries are uh, 10 days old today, exactly 10 days old today. So you can see them, how wonderful they are. Do you like what you are seeing? Let me scoop so that I can have a look at the size. Can you see? You look at it, some of them are turning to fingerlings, but they are just post fry. They are just looking so lovely. Okay, I'm looking so lovely. So, um, I want to use this opportunity to thank God for the success of yesterday match. Um, our team won. I will give thanks to God. Um, the South Africa they tried yesterday. It's just that God showed mercy on whom He wished to show mercy. So I can say that God showed Nigeria mercy because both parties played very well. So back to our business, I'm going to be teaching you some things you need to watch out very well because some of my students and clients, when they call, their major challenge is how to manage this right from the 7 to the 10. Some people say it, their challenge starts from the 10. So and let me be teaching you some of the things that you need to watch out for. One, very much important, you need to avoid overfeeding. You need to avoid what? Overfeeding. Do you understand what I'm saying? All right, I'm coming. Try your possible best to avoid overfeeding. And I like talking little by little so you can learn things that I'm teaching you very, very well because this business is a very simple business. You know that the risk you need is when you don't get things right. So now, how do you know that you are overfeeding your fish or how do you know when you are overfeeding them? You will feed them when every day you see leftover at the base of your pond. When you siphon, you siphon plenty debris. Even if you don't want to siphon, you look around. You look around. So when you bring that dirt, check it. You see that there are much food there. And what are the consequences of overfeeding? One, it pollutes the water. And when you pollute the water, it thereby um, depreciates the oxygen content and increase the ammonia built up in the pond. Well, for we we have ammonia control and other things that we use that control toxic gas in the base of the pond. But you, you may not have it. And even if you buy it for us, it's good for you to ensure that you do the right thing so that this fish will not be stressed. It is well. It's good for us to have paracetamol, but it's good for you to avoid things that will cause you to be having headaches. So even if you take one tablet of paracetamol, it will work very well in your body. I believe you understand what I'm saying. So in nurses, you need to try everything you can to do what avoid overfeeding. And when you avoid overfeeding, it should do you more good. So I believe you are learning a lot from this cliff our mic went off so we decided to add a voice note to support what we are saying why i'm saying this thing is we try everything we can to make our video look very much real to our students so these are fries at the 10 doing wonderfully well on the 8th of february 2023 so you can do much better so watch out for the next section of this video clip Thank you so much.